Welcome to On the House. In this episode, Julian reveals his red flags. I'm a picky eater. And exposes one of his biggest icks. Knock that off, bro. I'm a grown man. Oh, shit, dude. John talks about recovering from his addiction to technology. He used to bug me violently if I saw somebody with the new phone and I didn't have it. And shares how honest he was in his dating life. You know what? This has been great, but I gotta fucking go. Shenanigans? Yes, please. I know you were gonna say it. I was saying that bird racist. <laughs> <laughs> I like to grow. That's how you wanna end on that? So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's episode of On the House. guys welcome back to another week of on the house man i am so excited to be here i got my boy john with me yo what up what up everybody let's go man get my own dj horns are you ready for episode was this eight now eight this is eight this is eight eight we are eight deep in this mouth i got i love this man and honestly i've been loving doing this show with you dog and i feel like we've We've accidentally been doing this, so I, I got a surprise for you today. We've opened up the show thanking the viewers, and again, we want to say thank you, but we've also just opened it up with uh, gratitude. Yeah. So, like, I want to kind of stay on brand with that, because I feel like that's awesome. Okay. What is okay. something yeah, yeah, that yeah. you love about recording this podcast? Just something random. Woo! Man, there's so many things. It's, I think... The first one that comes to mind is just talking shit out and what it's done for me is it's made me be more, be more comfortable sharing, which I mean, shocker, I'm not that comfortable sharing stuff, some stuff in regular, especially at work and stuff. Sometimes I'm unsure of what to say just because I don't want to let two of my own personal personality show at work. But what this has done is it's, made me more confident in my initial thoughts and responses because you know even though we come prepared to this there's a lot of times where i'm thinking on the spot and saying things on the spot so it's had me do that more and so i'm more confident in a lot of the things i say and do in my interactions with people and i think that's my Mm -hmm. just the growth i've seen in myself since we started doing this um it's just it's just it's like a night and day thing i i think i told you the other day about an experience i had where it's Somebody talked, commented on my, I might bring it up later, but somebody commented on my demeanor and it just jumped out. Like, this is why. It was like, yo, before I would have just said thank you and moved on. But it was like, no, take this opportunity to share something, whether, whether she wants to hear it or not. Like she gave you the opportunity to speak on it. So you might as well speak on it. So just stuff like that is giving me more confidence to operate in that space and not be so. I feel like I have to be so scripted all the time um, and just having more confident in, you know, whatever jumps out of my mouth first. So I, that was a long winded answer, but that's, that's I, know, I love it. That that's perfect. And because of you guys, you know, there might be some change that you guys might be going through. Hopefully, like we're helping you somehow. But hopefully don't forget, you're helping us, too. That's really what I wanted to highlight here is like, you know, you're helping us, too. This is helpful for us. I think yeah. for me, um, I had it. I had it and I lost it. But my, <laughs> my favorite, I'll say this. I, I'm trying to think of what it is because I had it. It was in my head and I lost it completely. Wow. I, I'll, well, let me talk some more and see if you can come. Uh, let me vamp a little bit, as they say. Yeah. Um, but you, it's just. Get it back. Yeah. So not only that, but just. I don't know, some of the interactions we've had, just to kind of go off on a different side of it, some of the, just the people that have either resonated with it or that have just like, oh, okay, I like you're that way, I'm, then I'm not alone. Like a couple people have told me that. It's like, that's fucking cool, man, to just hear that some silly shit I said or just the thought I had is some, something that someone else on the other side of the fucking country feels. You yeah. know what I mean? Someone that is nothing like me feels. And that's just... That's another thing that's like, it's just, it's cool to share these stories because like we talked about this before. I would do this shit regardless. I don't care if there's a million people listening or one or zero for that matter. This shit is just fun. Yeah, exactly. We're sharing so, them amongst each other. So it was great to be able to share. Yeah, with you we guys. were. And that's, that's where this whole thing started. 
Um, so to have I got it back. our voice messages. Okay, cool. We get to have our voice messages <laughs> essentially become this that people are listening to is is crazy. It's just crazy. It's awesome. I, I love it. Um, so what I was thinking for me was, I can't believe I lost this. I feel great being able to allow, because I've been doing content for 10 years plus now. I feel great having That's another wild. side of me, right? Another side of me on the internet. I basically like grew up mm. through content. So this is just another form of me like aging up what I do online and yeah. growing it out and just, you know, uh, just basically transitioning in, in my online presence. And Damn. I love it. I love every part of that. Oh, to, to kind of piggyback on that um, and to stay on the grateful theme. I'm grateful for you, dog. You put a lot of work into this shit. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of grinding. Just then that that 10 years of of creating and not just creating, but always looking to be better at creating and what you want to do. You're look you're yeah. constantly looking at what other people are doing so you can be better. And it shows, dude. So like just that, that aspect of it. Yeah. And for you to be actually growing like in real time, like if people go back and watch the first episode of you versus like last week's, it's a whole different dude, hey, we man. we were cooking last week, bro. We were we cooking were. last week. So to have you do that, like real time, you are being more comfortable in showing this side of yourself. It's commendable. For me, it was, I became, I became comfortable with it. And then this is just how I am now. But you're actually like, Week to week, you can see the growth and the difference in it, and that's Shoot. that's dope, man. It's dope. It's a, it's been a dope journey because I I see you know I've seen you as you are, and then when we came here, it's just like this is shirt and tie, Julian. We're getting job interview, Julian. Uh, so it was it's cool to oh, see you like you know what I don't <laughs> shut all that shit down. We getting back on topic. Stop that. <laughs> That's why last week when you were like, this is off topic, I was like, what? Who is this guy? <laughs> so, yeah, man, it just, I'm different. sorry. I, I love it. I, 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 like, I took your shit and ran with it, but I wanted to spin it around That's and, what I wanted and to surprise show you gratefulness it. to you. Well, yeah. no, I'm definitely grateful for you too, dog, because a lot of the stuff that you say on here isn't just stuff I, you know, edit and upload. This is stuff I apply to, I take and apply to my own life. So a lot of that growth you're Yo. seeing is thanks to you. So I, I really do Yo, appreciate man, it. Don't, don't, don't do that, man. Cause I will cry on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here before we start crying. Uh, <laughs> so today we're going to talk about a couple of ah. things. We're going to talk about our red and green flags, like both of ours. Um, you might hear some of Ooh. what we're looking for in those in there. Um, then we're going to go to commercial, <laughs> but then when we come back, we'll be talking about how we feel being told what we deserve and what's good for us. <laughs> and after that, we're going to go to commercial again and then have a little bit of fun time at the end of the episode. Oh, yeah. Like we normally do. Yeah. John's yeah. little segment. I'm, I'm so excited for that one. I'm <laughs> so excited. I got a few good ones for that. I got some really good ones. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. boy. Now, <laughs> There's before the we get into the red and green flags, because I know he's excited yeah. to get to the end here, um, I will say today I'm drinking something fire. This is my, like, I found this drink at my uncle. My uncle had like a little birthday get together and I yeah. found this drink and I've been obsessed with it. I low-key killed half a bottle before we even started, which is probably how I lost my thought early on. But this is... <laughs> I was going to say that, but I didn't want to call you out. <laughs> I, I call myself out. I don't care. This yeah, you're is... Good. Um, I don't want to say the brand, but it's Moscato. It's a mm -hmm, specific mm -hmm. Moscato. Hit me up if you want to know. Um, but it's not too sweet, not too bitter. It's like perfect because Moscato is normally sweet. Yeah, it's normally really um, sweet. Yeah, no, this is this is more along the lines like it's like a Chardonnay mixed with a rose type of vibe. It's oh, okay. Like, yeah, okay. it's like kind of crazy. It's okay, fire. I might have to try that. I might have to try that. Yeah, I would. I recommend yeah, it. It's so. You sent me the picture. So, um, before I get into what I got, um, the reason why, because I like to be transparent on this thing, the reason why this man is damn near a bottle deep at the beginning of this shit. Uh, I was running behind, extenuating circumstances. I don't need to get into all of it, but I was running behind. I was running late, so we starting late. So Mans was sitting here waiting. That's why I appreciate you, because I, when I got on here, you could have been like, man, what the fuck? 
Where you at? <laughs> but you just, he was just like this guy, and we made he made a few he made a few jokes about it, and it was just like, yeah, you right. Like I can't dispute anything he's saying. But here we are. But so he just yeah, he well, just here. he just killed the bottle off, basically waiting, and here we are. So I got because I was running late. Um, I was like, I can't go home and then make a drink too. I got to just get something ready. So I got. I'm not going to say the brand either, but it's my favorite gin. I'm going to say that because I've said it before. The gin I had before, but it's like a pre-made martini. Ooh. Um, so it's just gin and vermouth Shaking, not already in this. I should have got some olives while I was at the store. I forgot because I was just rushing. But, um, yeah, this shit is strong, man. It's 40%. So I'm going to catch up to you very soon. Um, 40%? <laughs> 40%. Dog, there's like forty percent alcohol in this thing. That's probably why I killed the whole bottle and I'm chilling. Yeah. yeah this is like 5% my, uh, alcohol, dog. Went to my... Oh, 5? Yeah, I'm, we got... Oh, it's 35. Sorry. 35%. And you um, got 40 between the 5 I got and the 35 you got. We good. <laughs> we, 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 right. Let's we drink at 40%. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. My grocery store girlfriend was at, was there. So... Uh, I can't love that lady. That, She's though. hilarious. Yeah, I can't. That's that was her word. She called me her grocery store boyfriend. <laughs> oh, well, hey, she said it. She, she labeled said it. us. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna get it. I'll maybe say that story for another time. Maybe later in the segment, or maybe later in the show. Oh. Um, but otherwise, Bro, so we're not trying to get us monetized. I get popping. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, oh man, I don't want to hold this keeps... back anymore, bro. I know they want to hear. Ahead, I want to hear. What, what is your red flag, Sean? We gotta start with the worst, and then we'll go over to like the good side of things. Man, I see. I wrote these down when you said we were gonna talk about this. Um, man, man. I didn't write nothing down. I messed up. I probably I, should have wrote it down. I just knew I wasn't. I get to talking and I forget. Um, my worst one is probably being stubborn. Honestly. Um, Dang. I am. Actually, I'm getting better at that. But I can be stubborn. I'll hear people out and I'll listen to their advice. Um, but a lot of times I'm still going to do the same shit. Um, sometimes I have to learn the hard way and it's a fucking major flaw and it's a pain in the ass. Um, especially after it happens and it's like, why don't you just fucking listen to somebody that's been through it already? Um, another one I'll throw in just because I know this is also one, um, and it may go hand in hand as I struggle a lot with asking for help, um, mm. and, ex- and accepting help. Like, if, even if someone was to offer it, even somebody I love is offering help, I I struggle with it. I I lied to some friends, and she called me on it. Um, I said it in the, was it the first episode? I think it was the first episode, yeah. When I slept, when I told you I slept in my car, yeah. um, like, I was sleeping in my car. One of my friends saw me. I didn't know she saw me, because um, it, it was before I came here. It was when I was back in Cali I did it, because I didn't have any place to stay, so I just slept in my car. And my friend was like, Hello, yeah, are you good? Like, is everything okay? And I was like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. This is a really good friend, dude. Like, this is one of my best friends. And she was like, you're good? And I was like, oh, yeah, everything's fine. I'm good. And she was like, I saw you sleeping in your car. I was like, fuck, dude. So she was like, so everything's good? And I was like, no, it's not. Like, <laughs> like no, no, it's not. No. But it's like, why couldn't I, why couldn't I just, I mean, it's embarrassing as fuck. It was yeah. embarrassing. I was ashamed. But this is somebody right. that, it, that I've known for years. Yeah, that fucking stupid-ass pride, dude. Pride. Stupid-ass pride. I can't... I mean, I've gotten rid of it in a lot of scenarios. But it just... There's some parts where it just fucking... I just can't... It just... You just hear it. And it's like... But this is somebody that's seen... Like, I've known her for years. Um, And just to... Like, her and... I, I mean... Chris and Mary, I'll say their names. They're my, they're some of my best fucking friends. Um, They're married. They're dope. They're dope. But I just, I couldn't tell them. And so, like shit, like that is tough to just that violently 
independent and trying, I can't help. No, I don't need no help. I don't need no help. Like, no, you do, dog. It's okay. It's okay to ask for help. Yeah, you don't got to beat your chest. It's okay. It takes more strength to ask for help than it you does see my to face, just. Right? I know. I know. I know. I figured uh, when you say you didn't write nothing down, I was like, it's all right. You can take some from my list because I know yep. they apply. Because <laughs> right, right <laughs> I don't want to forget when we go back. I want to forget no, what you I said because I'm like, wait. I, I feel that. I feel that. But I like <laughs> He was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's me. No. But yeah, I feel like um, the stubbornness, I think, goes hand in hand with that. That's why, that's why I said those two together. But that's by far my biggest, my biggest red flag, I think. Um, I mean, there's a whole ass list that I have here. Any less serious ones? <laughs> um, I feel like those are just like, oh. I feel like... Um, and this might just be some of my own insecurity because of past relationships, but I feel like I can be a lot and that I come on strong. Um, I'm about to roast you. That's fine. Um, I'm about to roast you right now. Okay. Okay. What did we I'm talk prepared. About last week. I know. All right. Who's out here okay. telling John? Who is out here telling John <laughs> that he's a lot? Who? <laughs> It's, what is it's what a, is wrong with these people? He was coming at me yet last week. That's why I'm saying this. Yeah, because he said yeah, I know. it breaks my heart to hear you say that you're a lot. It yeah, does. I know, and it's like it's some shit from a long time ago. Actually, it's it's not from a long time ago. It's just I just can't help it, man. When it's somebody mm-hmm. I care about, I just love doing shit for him. I love, um, I just love whether it's buying gifts or like remembering shit they said about stuff they need or like um and then getting like whether it's something little and just doing it i just i love doing that shit it's not like it's any extra effort it's not like i'm thinking like okay i have to remember that um that she likes this or you know i have to remember that julian likes chicken wings so i have to find a good chicken wing spot when he comes out here like it's not like i'm sitting there doing this repetition of it it just i remember whether i choose to or not like things that people I care about like, they just stick. And then when I see it, I, I remember it. I have a really good memory. So when I see something, it's like, oh, I remember that so-and-so likes this, so I'm going to get this for him, or I'm going to make a reference back to it. Um, and so it can just it can just be a lot, dude. And there's some people that don't like that, or I can't, I feel like they feel like I'm coming on too strong, so I've gotten burned in the past for that. It hasn't stopped me f- from doing it, but I do have that insecurity of like, this might be too much. I might be doing too much. I'm still going to do it because I'm not going to hold back who I am. But this is just know that this might push them away because you're doing yeah. too much. They might, um, they might not be used to that. Yeah. And it's out of it's out of a place of love and of caring. But, you know, it's, some people may not like that shit. And that's OK. It's just I'm a little gun shy sometimes about that. That's probably the, the less serious one. Um yeah, I think that's, I'm sure there's a host of them more. I am, like I said before, I am highly flawed. So I'm sure there's more. Um, I told wifey, she said she was going, she was like, I'm curious to know what you think yours are. I was like, oh, all right. What are mine? She was like, nah. <laughs> you don't get the, you don't get the answers to the test. It's I want to see what you say. Nah, for me. <laughs> nah, nah. You, I want to see what you say. And then I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I think. So, oh, cool, so I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious what she's gonna think they are. Hey, she loves me regardless. So, oh, I'm what? I'm gonna give you one right now. Um, uh, go for it. Because I have the same one, so I could call you out on it. Because this is one I'm I don't give say. a fuck if you didn't. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, um, say it. John likes nice things, so John's gonna buy himself <laughs> nice things for sure. Is that a red flag? Um, <laughs> It can be because it can be. It totally can be. It, it can be because sometimes it might not be the best idea to buy that it's, right then and there. Not, but we I do it anyway that. for the love of for the love of what that thing is. I don't know what your thing is. It's, I know what my thing is that you know I will buy this, at any point. But it's, oh, it's tech. Is uh, yeah, hundred percent tech. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Is this a reference to our conversation from earlier today? Are you? <laughs> oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I've been looking at a camera in my wish list, 
that I like, am like, oh, no, man. you got a lot more big, big responsibilities to focus on. Yeah, you don't need you, to buy this camera right off. Voice messages. She's like, yo, I'm going to get this cam- I'm gonna get this mic set up. And I'm like, her mic is fine, dude. <laughs> There's this other shit. Fine. Stop it. I, okay. All right. I know. Y'all know. I can't. I don't want. I didn't mean to shut you down like that, but I mean, it's all right for now. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, right, for now. See what I mean? Full, trans- what I mean? full transparency. Uh, I'm currently car shopping, and he was on the phone with me when I was going to look at a car today, so that's why I feel attacked because he's absolutely right. I could easily, easily go for something sensible that is probably half the cost. <laughs> you said it, not me. Not, not saying that it's anything outrageous. I'm not getting anything crazy. Um, it's not nothing. No, it's a regular. Just cars are so fucking expensive now. Every I'm car. I'm in the I'm in the mid level, probably below mid level, but I could probably go lower and just be you know a commuter car, something that gets me to A to B. But I've done the A to B thing, and I'm a bougie motherfucker sometimes. I don't spend Same. a lot of money on myself. Uh, most of the time, I feel guilty spending money on myself. Actually, you know what? It's not even the guilt. It's I don't get as much enjoyment sometimes about buying things for myself that I do for other people. Yes. If I buy somebody else something, the joy they get, even if it's something small, the joy they get, I get more enjoyment out of that than buying something for myself. Plus, I don't really need that much. You know, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. I don't spend a lot of money on a lot of shit. So just, I don't. I'd be thrift shopping like a motherfucker. I mean, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. But you just I'm made me thrift, think of something. Thrift store clearance shopping that's me i don't like spending a lot of money on a lot of shit i'm i'm cheap when it comes to a lot of things the things i'm bougie on i agree with him i do like nice things and it is a hard habit to break i just broke the buying a new phone every year thing it used to bug me violently if i saw somebody with the new phone and i didn't have it (laughs) i'm so serious dude it was only a couple years ago it's not like this is a long time ago it's just i went through a lot of shit the last year so i think that's what put things in perspective up here but um there was a there was i had to get the phone every year because there was somebody that i had my phone was on order okay just to put it in perspective how bad i was with this shit oh no my phone I, i ordered it no 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 i'm probably not as bad as you thought but i ordered it it's getting, it's on the way. It shipped. It's coming to my house. I went to my friend's house and he was, he had the phone. He was like, oh, look at this. Like, he was like, oh, look at this. Like, oh, it does this. And I was just like, man, shut up. Like, oh, I, I thought you went and bought it because you saw he had it and canceled your order. Yo. No, if I could find it somewhere, I would have. Oh. But it was, you know how, you know how iPhones are when they come out? This is, you can't uh, yeah. fucking find them anywhere. Um, if I would, <laughs> I would be up. Whenever they released them, 6 a.m., whatever time it was, I had my laptop, my desktop, and my iPad going to different sites to see which one had it first, whether it was Best Buy, Verizon, and the Apple Store, seeing which one loaded to the, through the order total together. I think I may have a picture of the setup one time because I was, I was determined to get it as soon as possible. I had a problem. <laughs> Yeah, I was I'm never okay that. with I, admitting it. I thought I was bad, but I was never that bad. That's bad. I, I've mellowed out a lot. So when you're like, yo, you're not really a tech guy, I'm like, yo, I, I'm not anymore. You're right. You're not wrong. You're right. It's just, I just laugh because, like, yo, at one point, dog, there was a lot of this you're shit like, he that. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea. I never shared this with you. Uh, I just, uh, there was just like, there was only a few things, like phones and like some things that when they come out, I had to have them. Otherwise, I feel left out. Like I don't know. I don't even. I can't even describe what it was. It was just. It just bugged me so much. Like you got it, but I don't. Yeah. That shit, man. I get there. I I get it with the. I get that with cameras, honestly, and uh, camera lenses. So. (laughs) I've seen it. Seen it. I sent you a camera. For those who don't know, I have like a really good camera. Like my cameras. Yeah. Pretty good. I sent John this other it's camera. It's fucking I like, dope, man. I want this camera. He was like, what? Like, bro, why? Like, 
Cause I can, okay. No, he's not. Cause I can. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you how to it, spend bro. your money, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, though. This is maybe some things at this point you should probably focus on first, <laughs> especially right now. Um, especially right now, fact. Especially right now. But to to back up his point, this dude's backup camera is better than my camera, so. <laughs> No, no, yeah, no. I think so. I think so. The uh, one that you didn't have the battery for or whatever when you came yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, nah. You don't think so? No, okay. 100%. Well, no. Okay, well, you know better than me. Yeah, I just, yeah, it no. seemed like it was. It's it's a good camera. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's good. It's quality. Better. It doesn't even do 4K, like, without a crop. Okay. So, like, Fair enough. You know, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're, we're getting in the nitty gritty tech side of things. Getting into the nitty fucking gritty. All, All right, right. Before let's I go this. with my red flags, do you have any okay. more? Uh, can I go with the former red flag? Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll go with one that, actually, you know what? No, I think you were going to bring up one. Yeah, I'm not going to bring that one up. Toxic positivity is something I used to exhibit. It was like feeling like you always have to be positive and not allowing yourself to experience other emotions. It's just like always have to be happy when someone brings you any other emotion you just try to make a joke out of it and make them happy instead of just listening. Yeah, it's either like, uh, I don't want to hear, to put it, to, <laughs> to put an <laughs> example on it, if someone else came to me and they were talking about something they had seen on the news or something that they had, a video they had watched or whatever it was, an article they read, and it was something that depressed them, my response was, okay, well, then just don't read that no more. Just don't watch the news no more. Like, you should just be happy all the time. So if something's there that's not making you happy, remove it. And that's just, that's not a fucking way to live. That was a bad example. You should absolutely stop watching the news. Anyway, sorry. No, I mean, no, 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 no. If you don't, you don't have to put yourself in a bubble just to try to protect yourself from everything. No, you no, no, just the news sucks. That. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, sorry, listen. As a as a journalism There's, school student, the news sucks. Okay, okay, that may have been a bad example. I mean, you can just choose news sources. That's what I do. I choose yeah, places, yeah, that's it. and that's I a, yeah. read articles that I choose to read. Yeah, um, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, but so yeah, bad example. But the rest of that, yeah, it's I was just dismissive of of not only my own emotions, other than happiness, but other people's. And I think that's where it got worse is because I was dismissive of other people's emotions. And mm-hmm. just like, hey, don't be sad. This thing's making you sad. Get, Get out of here. Just be, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> be happy. That shit is toxic positivity. <laughs> that song, you heard that shit? <laughs> that's the that's it right there. Letting her say your rent is due. You about to get evicted? Don't worry. Be happy. No, motherfucker, pay your rent. <laughs> <laughs> He's over here grooving. <laughs> I love but that it's, song. it's just... <laughs> It is a good song, but just like, it's okay to not be okay all the time. So I just wasn't allowing that space. So it's, it's, it got brought to my attention over and over and over and over and over again, over a long period of time. So I just, I worked on it to get better at it and more. I still get reminded like wifey now, she, she'll remind me like, it's okay to not be okay. Like you don't have to, like I was having a bad day this week and she was like, try again it's okay try again tomorrow and then my thought i was like no like i have to get better she's like no like you don't have to immediately turn it around today like it's okay to just go through the day get through it and then just try to have a better day tomorrow i was like that's she's fucking right like why am i spending so much energy trying to flip this around instead of just realizing like it's okay it's all right it's good so it's one i still struggle not the toxic positivity part of it but That last part of it, I still kind of have to be reminded of. So I think that's the last one I got. I'm sure there's more. I know there's more. I will say this about that before I start. Um, I tried, even with this last situation I went through, I really try to let myself feel. um, Mm. Because I feel like that's the only way you'll get over it in a healthy way. Yeah. Is by letting yourself uh, feel the real emotions. In the wrong oh, dude, that's, it's such a hard thing to do, especially in that situation. It is it's such a fucking hard thing to that's do. That's why because I just you... lived in it, and I just you know I appreciate you for giving me the space, but I just talked to you about it because 
it's like you got to let it out and you got to let it mm-hmm. you got to let it flow and let it be what it is because if not mm-hmm. you're going to put it you're going to suppress it put it down and you're going to take it out on other people and uh take it mm-hmm. out on other situations and just walk around angry because you have this pent up aggression that you never mm-hmm. really worked out in yourself and mm-hmm. I never want to be that guy I want to um if I'm positive and I'm having a great day I want I want that to permeate off of me I want that to go around and if I am having a bad day, like I want it to, I want to still be able to, you know, smile and say hi to people, but also just allow myself to live in my bad day in my corner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't want to, mm-hmm. I don't want to sit here and have my bad day be because of something that happened two months ago. You know, I feel like that's crazy. Yeah. And, and that's hard to do as I pull, I applaud you for that because in that moment, because it feels like the right thing to just move on. Like, it's like, yo, okay, that really hurt, but I need to move on. I got to do better. I got to be better. I got to, but you don't want to, you don't want to move on so quickly that, like you said, you don't process those emotions, that you don't go through that. Yeah, you'll know. You'll go through the whole process. And then, you know, no matter whether it takes two days or two months or two fucking years, even depending on the situation, um, it's not something you can rush through. You want to give yourself time to process it because then you'll then then and only then can you be ready to move on. Like truthfully, like you said, without bringing that forward and putting it on someone else unprovoked. So, yeah. Oh, boy. props to that. I guess it's I guess it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, you put it off long enough. Let's get yeah, to it. <laughs> I, I was letting them go. I was like, go ahead, talk as long as you want, dog. Go ahead, no, say I what you gotta t- say. I, I won't bring t- up my red flags. <laughs> I know. I figured you were going to struggle with this. Uh, no, no, I'm not struggling. Uh, red flags are easy. Actually, um, you know what? Yes, I was going to say you're struggling with the with the, the positives. Green. Yeah, I'm yeah, struggling with the green. Um, yeah. Biggest red flag. Biggest red flag for me is I have a I have an extremely toxic worth ethic, work ethic. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah I, you do. I, I, <laughs> it is so toxic. <laughs> it is so toxic, and it is so hard on the people around me. Because a lot of times I expect, oh, this isn't uh, ble- bleeding into another red flag, but sometimes I can expect other people around me to mm. be like me and not everyone is like me and not everyone is on my, like, I don't want to say on my level because that sounds bad, but like on my, on my like same wavelength. Mindset, of yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. That's, why, that's why Jordan couldn't be a good coach. Exactly. Exactly. And you can be great, but you that don't mean you're good, great at leading. Exactly. And it's, you know, trying to teach someone how to how to want it. You can't you can't teach that, you know. No. Mm-mm. Um and yes, that, I I want it too bad. I do. I do. I will I will be the first to admit that I want success more than anyone. I don't want to say more than anyone, but I, I want it really bad and I yeah. work like I want it really bad. Um Yeah. I don't think I take I, I don't think I've taken a legit day off this week. Like where I've done absolutely nothing. I don't. I can't. I can't tell you. I think the I last time I say. took, the last time I took like a legit day off where I did nothing was when I got the stomach bug. That's the yep. only time I, I take days I was off. Say because it, you had to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because your body I told I you sit your ass down. So that's it. Um, that's it. I will say that um, it's not. It hasn't been. I mean, I have a similar mindset, so I haven't like it hasn't affected us at all. But mm-hmm. I can see how you could wear on somebody. Um, <laughs> just with that whole mentality, I mean, just because, like you said, it's not there for everybody, and some people don't want to work that hard, and that's okay. This they is want the what they want. Well, yeah. When you come to bed, is that a question you get asked? Yeah, yeah. When are you come to bed? Damn. And it's like, not yet. I'm still working on this thing. I'm still working on that Damn. thing. I've never been asked that in my life. Uh, yo, legit, bro. It'd be like that. Like, what are you coming to bed? Not even, not even on some like I'm that I'm working that hard. It's just there wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't that level of I want you. Bed. <laughs> oh no! Like, it was, I, it was. When are you coming home? But yeah, it was like, like that. But it's like like come late okay. and watch TV type vibes. But that was that was a separate issue. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to out her. She has her. She has her thing. That's what that was. It was just she wasn't comfortable sleeping unless I was home. Uh, um, yeah, but I it wasn't like it wasn't like 
I need you here. It was I need somebody home because I don't Excuse like me. being home alone. Excuse me. We're talking about our red flags. We don't need to bring outside people's red flags. <laughs> that wasn't a red flag. That's not I'm not saying that's a red flag. <laughs> just to clarify. I'll just that's just, up, that's it shit. just didn't come it wasn't coming from love. It was I need somebody here. <laughs> uh, I mean codependency is a red flag. I'm sorry. It is. It is I gotta say it, it is. Uh, it is, it is. Anyway, um look. We'll stick to mine, though. I'm not going to out anybody else's. <laughs> God, John, you messed me up. You got me to say Let's it. go. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, this is getting real comfortable. I like that. Um, go ahead. I'm extremely stubborn, like my man John here. I'm also I very prideful. So I'm not going to talk about those because he covered them quite enough for me. Um, to... <laughs> quite <laughs> Wait, what? I said quite extensively, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he covered those. He covered those more than like, because I, I, I can't add anything to it. it it's perfect. Um, Fair. Uh, I would say for me, this depends on the person, but I'm a picky eater. So that's my like, lighthearted. Oh, shit. That's dude. my lighthearted rev. Like, I am such a picky eater, dude. I am a huge pick. Like, yeah. I, I I'm wild. Like, I'm the dude who at the restaurant will like order something and then be like, hey, can you bring it without this, this, and this? Perfect, thank you. And I have no shame about it. No shame. No shame. <laughs> Nor should you. I I've have never, no shame, bro. I I've never been like we've gone out a lot. No, well, just when you're out, when you've been here. Um, but I don't care. I want you to because you're paying for this shit. You might as well get it the way you want to. The That's only way I'd it. have a problem if it's a place where they're like no substitutions, and you're like, yo, but what about substituting something? And they're like, he says <laughs> no substitutions though. <laughs> <laughs> that's Did the only time but anything there? else ask for the, the way you want it i'm a huge huge supporter of that um but i will second that because i didn't know that this shit would stop you from traveling like oh, you're yeah. concerned with traveling because of how what, like, because what of the food eat? yeah that shit Trail. that's definitely a red flag i didn't think of it that way until you said it because it was just like nah he likes what he likes but yeah no you're like i don't i'm scared to go like to other countries, because what am I gonna eat? <laughs> like, oh I have my set stuff here that I know I like. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I have my safe. Yeah. I have like I have yeah. my safe my safe ones, and then I have my adventurous stuff that I order. You know what I mean? You just you just go have to travel and go to grocery stores, and then yeah. stay somewhere where you can cook. Too. Exactly, literally. As long as, they, get, as, long as they got chicken, you gonna nah, be all and, right. And I mean, like I so the stuff I like is transferable throughout other other cultures. Um, For the most part. For the most part, it's just there's some things that I definitely don't like that I'm afraid that'll be mm. in there. Because, like, I'm not a big, like, green eater. Like, I don't... Most of that stuff, I'm like, nah. So Yeah, no. Nah. But everybody cooks with that. Especially when you go to other countries, other cultures, it's hard. So, like, because, like, they'll, like, what people do in other cultures a lot of times is they'll mix the foods together. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, you'll have something, like... This is wrapped in lettuce and that is wrapped in that. And I'm like, I don't need all that. Like, just give me the chicken, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know what you mean. That's not why I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? Do you at me? Because I just you saying that just made me I remembered when you were out here. Do you remember that pepperoni pizza you had while you were Oh yeah. I was like, bro, I just want a pepperoni pizza. Why are you doing all that mess to it? What did they do? What did they add to it? I forgot what they added. Wasn't it like mushrooms they added, or something? They had mushrooms. It had um no it had onions. Onions. It had like onions on it, it had hot honey, and it had something else. And he was like, I said I wanted pepperoni. And I was like, Well, on the menu. Their pepperoni pizza says it has these things too, and he was like, "Nah, when you say when you say pepperoni, that means just pepperoni." Because if you so go somewhere, you order a pepperoni it. pizza. That's what you're expecting, dog. I'm not reading a menu to ask for a pepperoni pizza. Like, for when do you go somewhere and just ask for a pepperoni pizza, or like read the menu, and say, "Oh, uh, you know, I, I was feeling the pepperoni pizza, but let me let me make sure it's just pepperoni on there." Like, no, you don't do that. You just order a pepperoni pizza and think you're good. No, <laughs> am I the only one? <laughs> no, I think you're right. Because typically like, they'll have a different name for it in other places. Yes, if it's a special. Typically thing, they'll, it's a special. They'll have thing. a different name for it. You just came. You just happen to be at a place where they call it pepperoni, and it's not. But I just remember that that was a pain point for a while because <laughs> you were upset about it. 
about this shit. So that's just I, they brought it out, and I was like, "Dog, what is this?" <laughs> <laughs> like, you took the awesome? tiniest bite I've ever seen an adult take of food. I was like, yo, just try it. I was like, all right. He took the tiny, he was like, well, I was like, man, let's just switch. Like, <laughs> I got wings, you got that. Just take the wings. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll just get the wings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely my reddest red you, flag. That is, I mean, that was your bad though. You went from the best place in the country to get pizza to over here and that's got fair. pizza. That's fair enough. That's fair. I'm I do, glad you like, did though, because that, live... that was fucking great. <laughs> so I'm glad you did, jerk. Anyway, no, just because that was a funny fucking story. <laughs> Sorry, you have that was your lighthearted one. That's, that I mean, one. I can't imagine what that's like though. Like. Do you really like put a lot of thought into where you're going because of that? No, no, I, I, I've gotten pretty good at being able to find something on the menu, like something. Um, cause I don't want to hold the people around me back because mm. of my own issue. You know what I mean? My own yeah. hangups. No, I don't so, want to like, go there. They ain't got what I want. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not going <laughs> to go be somewhere that else. Guy. Yeah. If you say, I Hey, we're that. going here. Like chances are, I'm going to be like, okay, like, let me just try to find something on the menu. I like, or like what my friends do is they'll like send me a menu before we go somewhere. Mm, so yeah. like, I'll just read through it and that way. Most times I'll just know what I'm getting before I even get there. Yeah. Otherwise you I'm just losing weight this trip. I'm just going to drink the whole time. Screw it. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Green flags. Do we even go there? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we should. You for, yeah. for you, for sure. Oh, for me. Well, just because this was hard for you. like Oh, yeah. You really, damn, don't do the dejected. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'll, man. I'll go with mine. I think I'm funny, so I'm going to lead with that. Oh, I am. Uh, Own that. Uh, um, I'm really, really considerate um, and mindful of people. Open-minded. Uh, just because, and that's just stems from what I went through. So it's like, I don't want to make anybody feel like that. So I'll be open-minded as fuck and considerate of other people's feelings and emotions and allowing them to be who they are. I want them, I want everybody to be their genuine self around me. So I'll give them that space to do that. Um, and then I'm really, really, really good at communicating just because I know that that's, that's probably one of the, if not the most important thing in a relationship is communication. Um, and I've learned that extensively. So uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm really good at communicating how I feel. Um, it's, I'm still working on sharing the, the insecurities and the not so strong emotions, but I still do it. Um, just maybe not as readily as some of the other ones, but I I have to work through it and just because you know it's vulnerable. You're putting your, you're making you're making yourself vulnerable, and it's not easy to do. Mm-hmm. But I am good at at least being mindful of it and doing it. Um, so I think those are my three. It may be more, but I'm not here to compliment myself and all that. Those are my top three essentially. Um, what do you got? Well, listen, you're the. You're not single, so you don't need to throw your list out here. I'm throwing my list out here because reach on the house at Gmail. Um, <laughs> I love the plug. I love the plug. Send yes. in applications. Please, please send them. I would love to get some to just, I don't, I'll make time for it. I don't care if it's the last segment. I don't care if it's my segment at the end. I I would love to have those and not even tell him ahead of time. I will hold I will withhold them because he doesn't even have access to the email. I will withhold them until the end and just spring them on him. I would fucking love to do that. Reach Please. on the house at Gmail, man. Reach on the house at Gmail. <laughs> um so I think I'm a gift giver. One hundred percent I'm a gift giver. Um that's how like you talk about love languages. That's I think gift giving and acts of service are like how I show love. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's I guess a green flag. Um, I'm also a really good communicator. I would say, obviously a hard worker, but that goes into toxic work work ethics. So like they're like a eh. cancel each other out. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Um, I'm really determined. I think that's a green flag. 
I'm not somebody who's just like, I'm not somebody who's going to say I have a goal and just talk about it nonstop or say I want, mm-hmm. I have a dream to do something. Like if I'm saying I want to do something, I'm just going to do it. So I think that's definitely a green flag. Yeah. Um, sure. I'm trying to think there's definitely more there's definitely more. Um, I'll say you're understanding because oh, you have a lot yeah. of things that you're like hard nosed on and that you believe, but that doesn't mean you like we went, you talked about work ethic and you're, it's hard for you to not impose that on other people. But as far as other things like beliefs and all of this other stuff, you oh, yeah. are really understanding in in that regard to where you're like, this is what I believe and this is how I am, but it's okay if you're not like you're understanding in that regard. So I'll give you that. I appreciate that. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I knew. I had some locked. <laughs> I had some loaded up just in case you oh. were like, I don't know what they are. And I, like, I forgot no. about a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. You didn't forget about a green one. <laughs> what? I, I wear my heart on my sleeve, man. I thought that was a good like. I thought that was a green flag, but and I was like, wait, uh-huh. no, that's a red flag. I wear my see, heart on my sleeve. See, bro. this is why you said that before, and I was like, I ain't got shit to say. Go ahead and bring that one up. Um, this is why I'll say it's not. It, I mean, it depends on who you're showing that to. To some people, it may be a red flag, but that doesn't mean it's not a red flag. I'm emotional as fuck. I wear my heart on my sleeve, too. It's, I don't think it's a red flag at all. Some people may treat it that way, but that's fine. It's not for them. But I don't think it's a red flag. It's just not for them the right person will come along. Shout out, baby. I love you. And then they'll appreciate the fact that you're that open and that, (laughs) and that vulnerable because they're that way too, or they'll just, they just appreciate that side of you. So it can feel like it. That's why I was like, bring it up. Cause it can feel like a red flag. hundred percent. It can. It does. There's times where it fucking dug because there's people that will make you feel like it is, Mm -hmm. but those just aren't the right fucking people for your life. And that's okay. John dropping gems, bro. John's <laughs> That's dropping why I was like, gems, bro. Because I've, I've been there, man. I've been there. I, what you see is what you fucking get. The way you see me here is mm-hmm. how I am. Um, so I'm an emotional dude, man. There was a time in my life where I cut it out just because my partner wasn't into that. But I'm never fucking going back to that again. I was, emo- I was an emotional kid. I was emotional I was in, all throughout. <laughs> yeah, I was a fucking crybaby, dog. Me too. I was emo- <laughs> to the point where mom was like, "You ain't got to cry about that." <laughs> like, my mom is the most caring person ever. <laughs> but for her to be like, "Really, you don't got to like, you don't have to cry about that." Like, but the paper towel didn't rip the way I wanted it to. Or like, I, we're eating tacos and my t- my tortilla fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I related too hard to that i felt that way let's go i'm gonna just drink i was the only child so it didn't help that's i wasn't i was the middle but it was still just like my mom was just like come on bj we ain't gotta do all that <laughs> Oh, man. So there was a time in my life where I cut it out, but I didn't recognize who I was. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I'm not doing that shit again for somebody else. That just wasn't the right person for me. Anyone that's going to try to tell you to hate, like last last week, anyone that's going to try to tell you to cut that shit out and it's a part of who you are, it's not the right person for you. So it's not a red flag. It can feel like it, though. That's why I was it, like, go ahead and say it, because it can fucking feel like one. It does feel like a red flag. Yeah, but that's just because people will do it, because they're in, they're trying to fit you in a mold, especially Ooh, as men. Square peg in a round hole. <laughs> especially as men, they'll make you feel like a red flag. That did We're not, not supposed to be okay. emotional. I'm glad that did not go on camera. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I was so glad that wasn't on camera. Wow. Um, Fuck what I was saying. I was about to say some deep shit. Fuck all that. I'm so sorry. I (laughs) just did it. I was like, I almost want to show y'all what I did to show you how bad it was. But I was like, wait, send it. Nah, nah, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna say one more green flag, and then we're gonna go to commercial because that was that was outrageous. Um, My last green flag is I would say I am a fast learner. 
I think oh. if you teach me something, I pick up on things very quick. Yes, um, sir. Yes, sir. For the most part. Yes. Most times. For the most part. I mean, the only reason you're not sometimes goes with the red flag of stubbornness. Yep, exactly. But you do, you will pick up on a lot of shit. Go back to what I said earlier about the growth between episodes. Yeah. These are, we're only in eight. So at max, it's been eight weeks since we started doing this shit. That's only two months. Yeah. So to have that level of growth in a public setting in two months is wild. So I think also being open to grow and open to change is a green flag. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. Absolutely. I'm getting myself yeah. too many flowers right now. This is too much. <laughs> Shut up. Take your motherfucking flowers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. I like to grow. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. That's how you want to end on that? Are you someone that wears their heart on their sleeve? Where you're comfortable showing your emotions to anyone that's there? See, I call these types of people showers. And although it can feel like a negative thing, it's not. And I'll tell you why. Now, being a shower can cause negative interactions with people, whether it's them calling you soft or too emotional or any host of other names. But there are those type of people that when they experience those types of interactions, they use it as an opportunity to grow, whether it's emotionally, personally, or professionally. I call these types of people growers. So if you are a shower and you see it as a negative, remember, follow those steps to become a grower because growers are where it's at. And now back to your show. Welcome back to On The House. We had a great discussion about our red and green flags in the first one. Make sure you guys comment mm-hmm. below what your red and green flags are, if you're comfortable sharing, of course. Yes. If you're um, and if you're listening on one of the audio platforms, come to YouTube and comment that. But we're so you can see one of my on green flags. To it- something... <laughs> I was flowing. It was going I know. great. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here you go. <laughs> it is a smile. It's one of my green flags. I just didn't wow. want to say that, but it's all good. Wow. Go ahead. He just straight up knocked me off my path. <laughs> I did. I'm so sorry. This isn't the right segment said, for that. It's all good. You know what? Nothing. We're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna be talking about being told what you deserve and what's good for you. Ugh. I'm going to try to keep myself composed, when, but I want to hear what you want to say about it first. When trying to talk to a person of specific interest, when you're trying to have a romantic partner mm-hmm. and they say, you deserve better. Or what's another one they use? What's another cop out? Yeah, I call it a cop out. What's another cop out? I, I'm not. I'm not. It's. It is. Um. That's basically the. It's not you. It's me. Bullshit. It's not you. It's me. God. That's dang that it. same fucking yes. just cliched way of how do I? That's <clears throat> that's like googling how do I break up with someone, and then just picking the first one. That's basically what that is. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I just. I just need some time. I'm stepping into it. Ready? Yeah. Send it. I know my green flag is that I'm a great guy. I know that. I know. Talk your shit. I didn't add that in the beginning, in the first segment, but I know Uh that. I know I'm a good guy. I know I'm understanding. I know I hear you out. I know I'm. I just. I don't want to say special. I guess. I guess. Yeah, special. I'm different. I know I'm different. So when you say to me, "You you deserve better," that's basically like looking me in the face and saying, I I think you need to go find something else elsewhere because I can't give you what you're looking for. But instead of saying that and taking responsibility for your own mm-hmm. actions, you're trying to put it on me mm-hmm. and make it a me thing where mm-hmm. I'm too much for you, essentially. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? Because... You're you're basically like, all right, I'm I'm not I'm not good enough for you is what you're trying to say. But it's it's not coming. Most times it doesn't feel like it's coming from a genuine place because it's not. 
because it's like, all right, if it was coming from a genuine place, it would be like, like we said, we talked about how we wanted to be better. We felt like we wanted to become better. Um, and we wanted to grow from just interactions we've had. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to put my finger on it, John, but I feel like there is, there is one word to describe what, what that is. And I feel like the best way to describe it is just a cop out. It's the easy answer it's, of I mean I don't want to try. The, that's the best way to describe it, just because it is. Um <clears throat> anytime you're in a situation like that where you're breaking off something, a relationship with someone, it's always best to be honest. I mean it's always best to be honest in your communication at all times. Because A, you don't have to remember what you said because you're always honest and you don't have to remember the lie you told. But in that situation, let's say for instance, if she's if someone whoever it is in this instance said, Hey, like you deserve better. What if you're like, well, no, I don't like, no, I don't deserve better. I deserve, you know, then what's her response back to that? You know what I mean? That's why you shouldn't cop do these cop out answers because you don't know what someone's going to say. So if they call you out on your bullshit, what's your response now? You know, but it's, to go back to what it is, it is it's an absolute cop out. It's just trying to say something because it's cliched, or whether they're trying to go over the top and save your feelings. It's because you're you're kind, so I don't want to hurt you. But th- just because I'm kind and I'm sweet and I'm caring, it doesn't mean I'm fucking weak and I can't I can't handle this. Don't make up my mind for me and say, "Oh, you're kind, so I'm gonna tell you this so I don't hurt you." That hurts me more because it feels like you don't respect me in that case. Because you feel like I don't understand what I, you don't feel like I know my own value. And you're, you're putting both of us down in that scenario. Because you're saying, not only do you not know what you want, I know, I know what you want more than you. And also, I'm not shit. That's what you're saying in that. That's, so if that's how you feel, then just fucking say that. Don't say I deserve better. Because what if I don't want better? What if I'm not good enough for better? Or what if you are better and you're... You just don't see it. So, I mean, there's so many different ways that that there's so many different ways that can be interpreted, and just so many. I don't know why I said it that said it that way. Interpreted. interpreted. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many ways, different ways that, can, that Martini is working. Uh, there's so many different ways that can be interpreted by different people, and just I'm just I just don't like this idea of I'm going to try to. And I get why it's done in some cases. Um, don't try to, don't consider my feelings in this. Just be honest. Don't say, I'm, this is how I feel, but I want to say this because this may hurt him less. You don't know. You don't fucking know. Especially in some of the cases that have happened when that's come up. You don't know what I can handle or what I have heard before. What that phrase right there could trigger me more than than honesty will. And in some cases it does because it's like, oh, okay, cool. Because I thought you respected me, but clearly you're just feeding me bullshit because you think that's going to hurt me less. You think this aspect of what you're saying is less hurtful. But in reality, to me, it's okay. I thought she respected me. I thought we had this bond, this relationship of sharing honesty and true feelings. But it turns out we're just gravitating to bullshit and telling me what you think I want to hear. And yeah. Does that fall under classic gaslighting and manipulation? Does it? Because I it feel can. like it kind of does. It can. I feel it depends. Like it kind of does. See? And this is, we, this is a running theme. I feel like it's going to be a running theme in this is that it can, you don't know the intention behind it. So if your only experience with that is coming from someone that is gaslighting and manipulative, then absolutely it can feel that way because that's your experience with it because you don't know the intention behind those statements. <laughs> I mean, shit, dude. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I mean, if it, you don't know people's intent. <laughs> <laughs> Out here cooking, dog. Out here cooking. You don't know people's <laughs> intentions. So that's the thing. If you misrepresent yourself, you don't know what how people are going to interpret it. And they're going to interpret it based on their own experiences, their own thoughts, their own feelings. And if you leave it up for interpretation, that's what you're doing. So, I mean, 
you can feel like you're saving someone in that scenario, but you could be hurting them more. That's how I got hurt more, actually. The it's not you, it's me shit. I got told that a bunch. And that I'd shit hurts. Just tell me it's me, rip the bandaid off. So I'd I rather, you, yeah, I'd wrong. rather, uh, because that's like, like we said before. What do we say? Yeah, I'll take the. Sh- I'm going out taking the shot. I, I'm going I'm out taking, taking the shot. shot. I'm, I'm gonna keep, keep taking keep the taking shot. shot but for you go, to bro. tell me, no matter what I did, I wasn't good enough for you. That's what that sounds like to me. It's not you. It's me. So no matter what I did, I'm not good enough for you. But you're just saying that because you think that makes me feel better. Like, that also sounds like another way that you can be strung along. And, oh, <laughs> we didn't uh, touch that side of it. Yep. And uh, used um, because it's a way to it's a way to to save face. Um, you say because well, for real, you're not you're not <laughs> yeah. hurting anybody's feelings. You're just you're saving face because you're like, all right, it's not you, it's me. Um, you deserve better. Basically, like you're a great person, and I want you in my life, but not on a romantic level. So mm. I'm a safe face and keep you around because um, you provide some other value or some other level of comfort in my life, and I don't want that to go. But I know if I tell you the truth, there's a chance you might leave because you like me romantically. Um, and I, I don't care about your feelings. Screw your feelings. This is all about me here, and I'm doing what I want. Dang, that was rough. My bad. Ooh, I'm just no, being no, honest. no. Fuck that. <laughs> don't apologize for shit. That's it. It can make somebody feel that way. It could make you feel that way. It can make me feel that. Way. It can make someone feel that way because again, you're not sharing your honest emotions. You're just saying this this general statement that can be interpreted any certain way. You can say it. But just know those words are going in someone's head and it's going to be interpreted based on their own experiences and their own feelings. So if you leave it up that way without a clear, definitive reason behind it, it can come off that way, whether you meant to be manipulative or not. And so in this case, you're going to interpret that and like, okay, well, you're just trying to keep me around because you want me here in this role even though I want this role, but you don't want me out of your life completely. So you're willing to just string me along, having me think that there's a possibility of it just because you still want me in your life. You selfish motherfucker. Um, Yeah. Fuck that. Well, because it's what it is. It it alludes to um, a a possibility of a change on your end. And it's like, no, mm-hmm. like you're just not attracted to me. You're not attracted to me. There's no change on your end. There's no there's no amount of time that's going to just change your attraction. You know what I mean? Like and I get it. Some people later on do become attracted to you, but that's normally because you've made a life shift. You've done something different that has kind of caught them off guard and they're like whoa wait maybe i should have gave him a shot but guess what if you string me along you're not giving me the opportunity to not make that life shift yeah you're holding me hostage that's true cut people true. loose man like I, and I think yeah. as people we need to get used to that just being okay with cutting people loose and saying it's okay to let them decide if they want to stick around or not um yeah and I, I don't want to be completely insensitive, so I'll, I'll address the other side of it that mm-hmm. could potentially be there because, again, we don't know people's intention. It could be a fear of not knowing how people react in those situations because you're telling them something that's going to hurt them. And you don't, there could be some traumatic experience in their own life where they may have been honest before and it wasn't received properly, whether it was whatever the reaction was. It could have not ended positively. Um, so I want to address that aspect of it and show respect for that. Um, but also just going back into it, you still got to kind of be honest with people just because you don't want to have that, well, impose that trauma on someone else just because of what happened to you before. You don't have to treat everyone differently than you would have before just because of something that happened to you before. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's something easy to do, but I mean, I've, I've had, I've been honest just because I hate, I hated the getting ghosted and I hated those bullshit 
canned responses um, when it came to ending something, uh, especially going on dates. I used to tell when I would go on dates, I used to tell them on the first date, like, yo, if at any point this is not what you want, like if you feel like this, you don't want to go forward, just tell me. We don't got to sit here and act like dinner is going well or whatever we're doing. And then fucking I don't you don't need to sit through this whole hour or whatever it is. And then tell me tomorrow that it's not going to work or text me later. Just tell me now. Like, and then you, I'm cool. Like I'm good. I'll be fine. You can. Oh shit. Within the first five minutes. No, this ain't it. Cool. Go ahead. This is a place I wanted to eat at. That's why I picked it. So I'll just eat by myself. I don't give a flying fuck. I used to, and they would always, I would say that and they would always laugh. I'm like, I'm fucking serious. Cause I'm not going to, cause I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and not have a good time. I will tell you it. Let me tell you this. It was never received. Well, whenever I had that, whenever I, (laughs) whenever I did say like, yo, I don't think we should continue this date. There was never anyone. There was never any woman that I was on a date with that was like, Oh yeah. Okay. It was never received. I got cussed out. I got called all kinds of names, but I don't, I didn't say anything malicious. It was just like, yo, I don't, I, I just, I'd rather be honest. I, I know it was, it wasn't great. I got better at delivering the info, but it was just like, I don't want to go through this shit and just tell you, like, oh yeah, I'm having such a good time. Yeah, it's great. Okay. And then what happens when she asks me to, to go out again? If she's like, hey, do you want to do this again? Am I supposed to say yeah? And then text her later? No. What the fuck am I doing to her mind in that scenario? You know what I mean? Because she's thinking I did everything fine. Like, what the fuck is it? So it's just like, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that because I hate that. So I'm sorry. Like, if you I'm going to deliver it the nicest way I can, but I'm going to be honest with you. Treat people how you want to be treated. That's what I was doing. And I'm never going to stop doing that, even though it did not, it never went well. But it's just knowing that it's a difficult conversation and people are going to react how they want. Usually when people are, they'll take it as criticism and people do not respond well to criticism for the most part. They're going to get defensive and they're going to lash out uh, most of the time. So, I mean, it's fine. You can call me whatever name you want. You can say whatever the fuck you want. I don't, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Um, first of all, cause I know it's coming out of defensiveness or hurt. And also I've been called a lot of shit. You gotta, you gotta wake up early in the day and you gotta be real creative with name calling. If you feel like you're going to say something that I haven't heard or that may insult me. Um, but it was just like, yo, I don't think like, I'm not going to sit. My time is also valuable. Like I want to be considerate of your feelings and everything, but also I'm not wasting my fucking time sitting here and going to dinner or going to see this movie with somebody I don't even want to fucking sit through this shit with. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like, my time is valuable. I'd rather be doing this shit by myself or I'd rather be at the house because this shit sucks. I'd rather be at the house chilling because this shit sucks. You suck or I suck or our compatibility sucks. Whatever the fuck it is, I'll own up to it. Like, no, you know what? You want this, this, and this. I ain't with all that shit. I didn't know you wanted that. My fault. I'll own up to that shit if that's what it is. Or if it's like, you know what? The chemistry isn't there. I'm not having fun. And I like to have fun. So I'm not going to sit here and not have fun any longer. Life is too fucking short, dude, to sit here and fake through this shit. I'm not faking through none of this shit. Fortunately, I ain't got to do that shit no more. Because I got a magnificent woman. But, like, you don't have to sit there and tolerate none of that shit. talking to me So just... (laughs) I appreciate it. I appreciate the wisdom. I just, I just say all that to like, I mean, I I hope more people will do it just because not only for that person, but for yourself. Like, are you having a good time? Do you really want to sit here and do this when you could be doing a host of other things? Do you value your own time? You should value your own time. I'm like, yo, if nothing else, just like, you know, I you know what? This has been great, but I got to fucking go. You can even do that. Boogie, or... boogie, boogie. So you just can't <laughs> boogie no more. 
Oh, man. Um, yeah, but I mean, that's my thought on it. I don't, I can't stand that shit just because I don't like being lied to, especially with some corny ass shit like that. Um, like, don't tell me what I deserve. Don't insult me. Um, like you deserve better. Like I don't know what I that because that insults. <sighs> That insults me on, like, I don't know what I'm putting my time into. I'm pursuing something that is not worth me or not. not exactly. And so yeah. it's it's putting yourself down, which I'm not a fan of. And it's also putting me down because it's like, yo, you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to tell you that I'm not worth following or I'm not worth pursuing. Go pursue someone else. Like, oh, the fuck do you mean? I don't know. Like, I I'm a good judge of character. I know what I'm pursuing. Now, if you aren't comfortable with it, if there's other things, then say those. Because again, be honest. What you're gonna fall into when you lie is someone calling you out on that lie, and then where are you gonna go? That's all I gotta say. Oh, it's Martini's fire. <laughs> it's Martini's fire. My drink's gone. I literally finished this entire bottle <laughs> on my own. Yeah, I just drank a whole bottle of Moscato. Um, yo, man, it's yeah. still coherent. It's fire. I'm chilling, bro. It's actually, it's, it's only 5%, so it's like... True. Hey, yeah. if I finish this little bottle, I am done so. It, it is light. Um, yeah, I'll say this, then we could go to commercial. I just, I want full transparency, full honesty. I don't want you to sit here and, you know, hold my hand and feel like you got to pat me on the head like... Cause it, it gives me that like, oh, he's so cute vibes. Oh, oh, like, no, stop. Knock that off, bro. I'm a grown man, bro. I'm a grown man. I got a kid. I got, I got work. I got life. Like I'm not, I'm not a baby, bro. Like you don't got to sit here and hold my hand and, you know, carry me through this heartbreaking process that you're trying to take me on. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm not. I'm not here for that. I'm not here for all that, yeah. bro. Like, just yeah. just tell me, like, hey, we're not compatible. I'm not feeling you like that, so I can move on with my day. And you'll say, hey, can we be friends? And I'll say, hey, I don't need no more friends, and we'll get that out the way early, and then psh, skedaddle. You know what I mean? Man, again, you leave it up to someone's interpretation. That's how they might interpret it. So, same way you just said, and that's... <laughs> That's fucked I mean, up. That's not awful. I'm so sorry. I I am welcoming. Hey, fuck friends. that. Don't apologize for how it makes you feel. Fuck that. They're your feelings, so they're valid. Fuck that. Well, I mean, don't more apologize for that no shit. More, no, I don't need no more friends. Part, you know. Oh, if you don't want no more, fuck that. Or maybe you don't want to be friends with that person, and that's okay exactly. too. Exactly. That's because it was a. I mean. It might have been a fake offer to begin with. It probably was a fake offer to begin with. Most likely, likely. it was. Save face. Stop saving face, y'all. Don't offer it's some okay. shit you're not ready to do. Listen, not Don't even offer... just that. Your life was good before I got here, right? So it's going to be good when I'm not here no more. What's the difference? It's all good. Right? Your life your life ain't going to be good without me. That might be good without him. You're going to miss me. <laughs> you're going to miss me when I'm gone. I you going to miss me. I said your life will be good. And I didn't mean right away. It ain't going to be the same. Eventually, you'll get back to normal. <laughs> eventually <laughs> we hope you're enjoying this awesome conversation and if you too want to join in make sure you email us at reach on the house at gmail.com you could send us dating profiles awkward dating situations and just funny stories you want to see us react to we can't wait to read your emails now back to the show yo welcome back it is the final segment, segment three. Um, as you can tell, the martini is doing its job. The gin is doing what it's designed to do. But as you are aware by now, hopefully, if not, buckle the fuck up. When I bring us back from commercial, actually, when I introduce us at all, there is some shit going down. Some shenanigans. 
So you see the nervousness on his face? That means fun is coming because he has no idea what's coming up. I will say this every time. We don't discuss what's happening in this segment. I make notes and then I, I throw questions at him. If he doesn't have anything, I have stories ready to go on and fill time until he can think. So that's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to start off with this because I think it's I think it's fun. I think I'm because I do have this segment is pretty random, but I would like to bring some a constant to this segment. And so what I was thinking of doing is having your favorite interaction of the week. Um, So like your favorite interaction you've had with somebody, a stranger, somebody, you know, already. Preferably a stranger, because I feel like those interactions are, are fun and you don't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, so I will I will say mine just to give you time to think. Yeah. <clears throat> and because I have them loaded. Um, you don't stop with the gun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you better knock that off, man. Come on. Man. I'm sorry. I couldn't I see help the money. it. I, it's like I, I just watch it. the dollar signs just fall off. Of <laughs> just this bit. He's Gosh. watching different. They like float up and burn up in front of my face. <laughs> 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 You know it's going to be me if that happens. It's going to be my fault. Oh, um, so I actually have two. I'll share one, and then if you don't have anything, I'll share the second one. But my favorite one, um, I was at a car dealership. I said it earlier. I was, I'm was i doing some car shopping. Long story short, um, there was a lady that worked there that I had a couple. Like, I was sitting and waiting. She walked by, made a comment about, like, Cause I said hi to her and I walked in she walked in later and I was sitting and waiting and she so she was like, Oh, I'm following you around. And you know, that whole thing. And then when I was leaving, I saw her again and she was like, Oh, again. And I was like, yeah, I'm following you around now. So we laughed and she was like, you know, like what's going on. And so I told her the whole situation. Um, it's a whole long ordeal. I don't need to be shared here. It's too personal and it involves other people. Um, but she said, <laughs> She was like, wow, that's what's, she was like, that's the situation? She was like, I wouldn't be able to tell because you're, like, so happy and you have this really, um, like, I wouldn't be able to tell from your demeanor because you're so happy and jovial. And, like, she was like, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. And I was like, well, thank you for saying that, first of all. Like, that's awesome. And I was like, I was like, honestly, it, it could always be worse. And she was like, yeah, that's true. And I was like, and I told myself because I've been through some shit. Um, especially this past year. And I was like, I told myself while I was going through whatever it is that I won't let it, it won't, I won't let it in affect how I treat other people. No matter what I'm going through, I don't need to take it on on people that are innocent and don't deserve it. And she was like, wow. She was like, thank you for that reminder. And I was like, for the reminder? But that was just dope. Just like this lady I had never seen. We just had some casual, like, laughing back and forth. She liked my smile and, like, I made her laugh. So she liked that interaction. But this is, goes back to what I said earlier about th- what this podcast has done. Before, I would have just been like, oh, I probably would have gave her some fake story or, like, short story. Not been completely honest with her and not had that moment. But because I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to tell her what's going on. I don't give a shit. So I told her, told her the whole story. And then we had that interaction because of it. I don't know if she's going to remember the shit tomorrow. But it was still a dope interaction. It was dope. You got one? Yeah. I figured you didn't need that much time. But that was mine. So go ahead. Uh, I got you. I got you. Um. So for me, this is like it's like an interaction with like a group of people. It's like two people. Um, I was going out to work one night and I was already kind of like feeling funny about it. Cause you know, work's been a little slow lately cause of spring break and stuff. So I was like, uh, I want to get out the house, but I don't know if I really feel like just driving around and waiting for nothing. So I was walking downstairs and I live in an apartment building. So like two of my neighbors were down there talking and they like stopped me as I was walking. Um, and honestly, like, the conversation was really dope. They were like filling me in on a lot of the things that I didn't know about, you know, the building. Cause like they had been here from the minute, like the moment it was put up. Um, so they wow. were putting me onto a lot of stuff. Yeah. A lot of stuff I didn't know. Wow. Um, Shit. like a little, little apartment secrets, little apartment hacks, things that like make it easier to live here. Yeah. Not that <laughs> living here is bad, but like things that make like quality of life easier. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. then, you know, there was there was just 
fun adult conversation being had too as well understanding like you know some people just people go through things too like a lot of times like when you're going through stuff it's nice to see that like you're not the only one going through stuff and yeah people understand you and like are are like you know kind of like on the same page so it was kind of cool just to have that interaction and that relatability there yeah yeah because going through stuff can feel so isolating and it can make you feel like I'm the only one I'm the only one experiencing this. So yeah, yeah when you have anyone well, you can relate to or just be a sympathetic ear, that shit is it goes a long so way. What I honestly I'll just say like one of the guys there, he's a single dad. You know, he's living with his three mm. kids there. So like he was Fuck. telling me about that life. Yeah, yeah, like living in the building with his kids. Fuck. As a single yeah. dad, yeah. I mean, that he was... also had like a crazy computer set up. He showed me <laughs> his set up. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, like a three monitor set up too. Yeah, that's so that, dope. That was, yeah, yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like that. I didn't know that aspect. That's fucking dope. Yeah, it was sick. It was yeah, sick. see? Brian okay, I'm going to make this. There you yeah, go. Yeah, he was showing me his cars and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, bro, was showing me his cars he had. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Uh, shit. This is why we got to redo your hinge. You, gotta, you can't get, don't get that energy on, on dating apps. I like cars, man. Stop it. I like cars. It's okay. It's all right. It don't need to be the first thing that you lead with. It's all right. <laughs> you ain't got to lead with that. It's all good. Um, I like yeah, cars. I'm going to make this. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? <laughs> That's what you're going to lead with, dog. That's fine. You're just there in your pool a lot. You know, um, you know I'm not good with openers, dog. That's that's what I got for you. So don't like fabricate cars. some shit. <laughs> don't lean into some bullshit like, if you're not if you're not so, good with openers. If you're not good with openers, then don't do small talk openers. Do deep shit. You good with deep shit. Get into emotions. Is that a red yeah. green flag? <laughs> Depends on who is who's being asked of it. If they're shallow, it's a red flag. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make that a regular. I like that. I like that shit. So uh, yeah, going fire. forward, like remember your interactions. Um, <sighs> all right, I got a story for one, so I'll leave that. But this is fun. I don't know where this came from. Um, actually, you know what? I know what it came from. Uh, one of my, I'm going to, actually, I'll ask the question. I'll tell the story behind the question, and then I'll share mine, and hopefully that gives you enough time to think, if you even be cool with it at all, because I don't know, honestly. Oh, boy. So, if you were in a serious relationship, mm-hmm. very serious, like, y'all are partners, y'all are going to get married, you've already discussed it, it's going to happen. But if she wanted to propose to you, how would you want that to go? Like, if she was going to propose, just how would you want that to go? I see you struggling with that thought already. The reason behind this is because wifey has a friend of hers who's going to propose to her boyfriend. And so I was thinking, like, that's dope. Fuck tradition. I don't like tradition. If you want to, if we talked about getting married and where it's a a regular thing and she gets a ring for me, I'll rock. That's fine. I don't give a shit. So I would 100% do it. But I was like, I don't, how would it, how would I want that to go? I would want some romantic, over the top gesture, but something that's private. I don't want some shit in front of a bunch of people. I don't like that shit because I feel like that's for the other people and it's not for us. I would like something thoughtful and romantic that about us. So, like, maybe recreating the first night we went out or I like with you on that but yeah what recreating the first night no 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 the, it being for everyone else but i mean it depends if that's if you know that's what your partner would like and what they want then cool but if you're just doing this shit because you want to then it's for everybody else it's trying to show off that's my yeah. thought i could be wrong but that's just how it comes off to me <clears throat> um but i would want something like that just something because i that shit fucking gets me because I remember, I remember minute details and, um, you know, show attention to detail and bring it up at a later point and like little things like that. So to have someone else do that to me and like 
This is, remember we came here on our first date. Or remember we did this, this, and this. And just that shit, it would, I would fucking melt. <laughs> so that's, it was nothing specific. It wasn't like, you know, some hot air balloon ride into Spain, like over southern Italy or some shit. It wasn't like nothing like that. Like the cunt, the Italian countryside. It wasn't like that. It was just something specific about our relationship that, because it's not about me, it's about us. So something that we both bonded over. What I mean, it could have been like, I don't know, we went, we, this is one of our favorite things. So this is like um, sharing this moment on this about this specific thing something like that just something that can be recalled and just shows that you paid attention to something i love or we love and remembered and sort of recreated or whatever it's not very specific but it's general but that's it's more so me you got something okay it's a hard one for me man it's a hard one i knew it would be (laughs) i've always imagined myself getting down on that knee and proposing one day Okay, okay, so, that's fine. And that's okay. This is that hypothetical. Up, giving that up would be hard. Um, this is like one of those she's a 10 butt type of situations. Because it's like, she's got to be like, for me to be willing to give that up, she's got to be like, and think about what I'm saying here. Like, I'm willing to go out and spend all the money on the ring, spend all the money on the dot. Di- you know what I mean? Do all that. That's all, okay, that's fine. You but what if she what wants I mean? to do that? Yeah. yeah. So like if, if she's like everything I want in a person, she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. But her only caveat is like, all right, she's got to propose. How would it's, I like it? What if it's not even she has to? What if she just wants to do it so badly that she's just like, I know I want to get married, so I'm not going to wait for him to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm cool with it. I think. I think that. Like you said, I like the private thing as mm-hmm. aspect of it. Um, I don't know if my reaction would be good enough. I think I'd be insecure about my reaction. You know what I mean? Uh, for Wait, how so? How so? Because you know, like whenever you see like the guys propose, like the girls like bawling their eyes out, and they're like, oh "You wouldn't God. cry." I don't know. I I because like when I'm in shock, I don't cry. Like I don't I I, mm. I don't process my shot like like i'll cry like later on if, you know what i mean like if i'm gonna cry about something i'll cry like later after i've processed but like my initial and like thing is like shock okay deal with what's going on and then you know That's feel fair. the emotion after i deal with it so like i don't yeah. know if i would cry in that moment um but i'm i'm thinking if it were me i would want it like you know um cool little like the cliche like beach type vibe you know what i mean like um out like on an island or something you know what i mean like that yeah you gotta you gotta take care of me on the sunset you gotta you gotta get me right on the sunset man (laughs) have that photographer chilling on the side show you down on one knee silhouette silhouette pictures man like you gotta have this you gotta have this job right like you gotta do it yeah (laughs) Yeah, you got you gotta do you gotta do this right man you know what you know what That is a great fucking point. That can bring up a specific scenario. So there was a time when, before I moved where I am now, when I was back in Cali, she visited me um, and we had a great fucking day. We went, we went out, we went to downtown Disneyland, walked around there, went to the beach, walked around there for a bit, found this restaurant that was like overlooking the beach. We ate there, had dinner. And then she was like, you want to go walk across the street to the beach and watch the sunset? I'm like, fuck yes, I do. So we just walked across the street, stood on the, walked, walked, took our shoes off, left them somewhere, walked along the beach, just walking along, holding hands, or had my arm around her. And then we just stood there. She held me while, we, like, we held each other while we watched the sunset. If she would have got down on one knee at that point and proposed, like, in that scenario, that setting. You would have melted. Yeah. I would have cried. I would have boo. I would have been boo hooing. It would have been ugly. It would have been. <laughs> See, this is the difference, though. I would have cried when you showed me the picture of the silhouette taken by the professional photographer. <laughs> <laughs> you really did that. I can't believe That's you did fair. That. In the moment, in the moment, it's different because there is shock, and you're like, oh shit, what the fuck is happening? So you're still processing all of it. 
So I think I would be shocked. Actually, you know what? I don't think I would cry immediately. I think I'd be shocked too. But after I processed everything, I I for sure would. Um, Follow up question. Oh boy. I'm <laughs> Cause I gotta bring you over back into this. If she proposed, I'm gonna get. Let me hold on. I'm scared because he's laughing so hard. That means it's about to be the most messed up thing he said all night. Look okay. how hard he's laughing. <coughs> Let me get ready. Right, so, Let me sit up. So same scenario. Ideal scenario for it to go down. She gets down on one knee, silhouette, photographer, whole, whole shit. Boom. Yep. She gets down on one knee, gets the box out, opens the box. What if it's a diamond, like the engagement ring type diamond? Not like you see a lot of men wear with, you know, where it's system. No, like she got you the diamond, the big ring with the diamond on it or whatever the fuck. You rocking that? We still saying yes? (laughs) I mean, I'm saying yes. (laughs) But. (laughs) Are you saying yes, but. Get a different ring first. (laughs) No, I'm saying yes, but come here, give me your hand. <laughs> you gotta put it on her hand instead. <laughs> yeah, but give me your hand for sure. Give me your hand. Wow, you bought yourself a beautiful ring. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at that ring you got yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> I knew it would be. I knew you went along with it, so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. It I'm gonna the get him. And I'm like, <laughs> Draw that, yep. Draw that thing oh, right there in the sand. Oh shit! I'm sorry. It's a beautiful ring you bought yourself. Can't wait that to marry smooth, you, though. That's smooth. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, he thought I'm putting that fat diamond on my finger. That's crazy. First of all, I, I want it to be were. nice and just... cute and dainty. It can't be. Let me stop. <laughs> I know you won it, but I I didn't know you had a smooth comeback for that shit. That's cold. That is cold. Oh I'll man. All right. When you out here doing this this segment, you never know what you're about to say. <laughs> you don't. Oh man, I think this might be the last one. I may have one more. We'll see. But uh depending on how this goes. Um actually. <sighs> Do you have a point, a time where you tried to be romantic and it backfired? Um, just where it didn't go the way you had planned or worse, even worse. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you my story. Well, before you say that, let me just say this. Yeah. I'm the hopeless romantic of the podcast, John. Do you know how many times I, this has happened to me? It's were you trying to, to be so romantic? Were you yeah. trying to be romantic and it backfired? Yes, it's happened to okay. me so many times. I can't recall stories. I just remember okay. the emotions of it. I don't necessarily well, remember all the stories. Let me think. Let me tell a story, and then you'll we'll see where it goes. If you don't have a story, we'll go to the next one. That's totally fine. <laughs> so, I had a girl I was dating years and years ago that um, loved horses. Really loved horses. Um, just love them. One of her neighbors had horses and she would always like want to pet them and go talk, like talk to them or whatever. So I was like, cool, got this. So I signed this up for horseback riding. I found this place nearby where we both lived. It's like, cool, we're going to go horseback riding. So I didn't tell her what we were doing and just got in the car and she's like, where are we going? I was like, yo, You'll see. Driving. And it's at some place in like a rural area. And so she's like, there's no, it's not a restaurant. Like, where are we going? And I was like, you'll see. And then she's looking at, because I had the GPS, and she's looking at it like, we're almost there. Like, what the, there's nothing over here. And I was like, you'll see. So we get to the place. It just, it's just, it just looks like a house. It just looks like some random house on a big plot of land. So we get, we go in. There's a bunch of other couples there. And then we show up and she's like, what is this? Like, what are we doing? And then the people come out and they start talking about, you know, telling us 
about the whole experience. The horses we're going to ride, where we're going to go, how it works, all that. And she's like, are we doing horseback riding? I'm like, you guys are supposed to listen to this part. <laughs> so they're talking, like telling us what to do. how to, So they bring out a horse and they tell us, you know, pull on the reins for this. Say this. Don't say that. Do this. Do that. The whole thing. So she's getting excited. And I'm like, yeah, I did my thing. She's like, oh, I can't believe we're doing this. Blah, blah, whatever. Um, <clears throat> So they do all that. They go through the whole safety procedure, all the rules and everything. And they start matching everyone with horses. So they're like, you know, okay, come on up. And then they'll either bring out a little stepladder or, like, help you up. So they get to us. And she's not... Whatever. They get to us, and they look at her, and they're like, we have a special horse for you. And I'm like, oh, what does that mean? They, they, brought, out a, they brought out a Clydesdale, dog. Hold on. I got to go to Clydesdale. <laughs> the Clydesdale is so much bigger than a regular horse. It is so much bigger. <laughs> fucking bigger look up Clydesdale next to a regular horse if you're gonna look up something do that so you can get the picture in your head of just the difference in size um (laughs) (laughs) she wasn't like that she wasn't light so they looked at her and they felt like she might have been too much strain I guess on a regular horse so they brought out that big fucking massive horse that they had to get damn near, not an actual ladder, but a pretty substantial like step ladder to for her to get up on. The horses, when I sat on my horse, her horse's head was eye to eye with me. <laughs> it was a big ass fucking horse, dude. So to tell you, she did not have fun or enjoy any part of that because everyone saw her get this big ass horse they brought it out just for her and to have her sit up that shit oh that was that, not that was the whole ex, that whole experience wasn't fun the ride back definitely wasn't fun um it wasn't she didn't express any anger towards me she was just embarrassed and i felt terrible for making her feel embarrassed I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know. (laughs) So it was just. (laughs) I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I'm just imagining that car ride. It was just like. Oh, it was quiet as fuck. And I think I'm pretty sure she cried. Just making noise. (laughs) Wait, what? She was crying. Uh, yeah. She was embarrassed, dude. They brought this horse out. That is, you see it. It's so much bigger than. Imagine. Like five or six, like six people getting on their regular horses and then them bringing that out for her. Everyone's still right there. Everyone's still in the same area. Yeah. Yeah. Not great. <laughs> That's what I mean by it backfired. <laughs> John's over here just driving back like. I didn't know what to say, dude. I didn't have any. I was like, that was a that was a cool horse. I didn't know what the fuck he said. It wasn't good. Your, your horse ain't even skipping leg day, huh? <laughs> I for sure did say. Oh fuck. What the fuck was it? I just didn't know. I, it's my bad. That's my bad. I didn't know it was a thing, and I didn't know. I just, I embarrassed her. I tried to be romantic, and I embarrassed her. That was just not, it wasn't great. It wasn't fucking great. Uh, <laughs> that thing is huge, bro. I'm still looking at it. Yeah, it's so much. It's like it's not like it's a little bit bigger. It's fucking noticeable, dude. It is. Yeah. The head on that thing is crazy, bro. <laughs> God. That was like, yo, I, I was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize, it, like, it didn't register to me at first. And then I started looking at everyone else was there, and I was like, oh, fuck, fuck, 
fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, my story is more embarrassing on my end. Okay. Um, so there was this girl I was really into. I over-pursued like crazy, but that's a story for a different day. Mm. Um, I, I went out. She was really obsessed with Minions at the time. So I went out and spent like $90 on like minion stuff uh for her for Christmas. Uh huh. And like she wasn't planning on getting me anything for Christmas. Like we were like and I didn't care. Like it wasn't yeah. like that for me. You know? Mm-hmm. So like I went out, I spent this money on her, got her all this stuff. I gave it to her. So then of course the next day she felt bad. And she's like, oh well now I gotta get him something. Okay. So she gets me a GameStop gift card and a pack of Tic Tacs. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. No, no lie. What? No. What the fuck? I was like, oh, you trying to tell me something? She was like, yeah, no, I can see you have them all the time at work. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> She might as well have bought you a toothbrush. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I get that. If she saw him with you, that's dope on her part to be like, he always has Tic Tacs. So, I mean, to her credit, you're not an easy dude to read and you don't share about shit you like. So she was like, he likes games. Yeah, I always see this motherfucker with Tic Tacs. So I'm going to get that. That's what I'm going to get. But also, okay, from yes. your point of it. Yes, but can you imagine telling your boys? Yeah, she got me a pack of Tic Tacs. <laughs> like, you imagine that conversation? She bought you what, dog? <laughs> yeah. And a GameStop gift card, though. She got me a gift card, though. Yeah, she got me a gift card, card too. But, card. like, you know, I, you don't understand. I be carrying Tic Tacs and shit, so she just didn't want me to run out. <laughs> Bro, she bought the wrong flavor, too. Oh. <laughs> I had these Tic Tacs I could use. I didn't she even tried. like that flavor. She tried. Oh, she, she tried, tried. She but tried. I can see why you said that. She <laughs> she roasted me. That's what she did. But it's all good. I felt I felt a little bit a little bit attacked. It's all good though, you know. Like oh, I'm chilling. No, I, I just see. It. I just see you with them all the time. You know what I'm saying? But like, take one right now. <laughs> to this day, I keep mints in my car, bro. She didn't give me a complex. Oh shit, dude. Oh, that's wild. Oh I'm man. My car right now, there's mints in the center console, bro. <laughs> Lifesavers. What's up? Winter green. Oh shit. All right, I got, I got, I got, I got plenty more, but I think one more would be good. Yeah. That was dope. I did. Um. Are there any uh, like? This is a general one, so maybe you maybe you have one. I have plenty, uh, but I thought of one specifically, like funny or awkward moments when you were dating, um, whether it was like just in conversation or on an actual date. The first one that came to mind for me was in an app um, <clears throat> back when I was still on them, before I was in a very ha- happy and healthy relationship. I was on. I was on. I was on all of them, like you were. I don't think you are anymore. Um, I don't know if I told you the story or not, but I matched with this girl, and we were talking. It was like beginning stages, so we were just, I matched with her. I sent her something. She replied, and so I went to reply to her reply, so we're fucking barely started talking. I said something. I don't remember what I tried to say. Spelled something wrong. But I hit send because I was trying to type quick. Hit send. Oh, shit. That's spelled wrong. Try to type it again with the asterisk to correct it. Spelled it wrong again. So I unmasked her. <laughs> I couldn't deal with the shame. I couldn't deal with it. I couldn't deal. I spelled it twice. I spelled it wrong twice. Not even, not just the initial one. That's okay. The correction, you misspelled the correction wrong. Nah, ain't no coming back from that. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I unmatched her. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. 
I just I just couldn't live with it. I was like, I sent it, and I was like, no fucking way, dude. What do I do? Just the embarrassed, the, the level of embarrassment, the shame. Fuck it. I just backed out. Unmatch. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. Bro I couldn't says, fucking do it. it. Nah. Screw nah, it. Nah, fuck that. I can't. I was trying to say. Nope. <laughs> you don't know. You might be able to decipher it, but nah, the conversation's gone now. You ain't never gonna see that shit. I just, Ooh, that's I wild. <laughs> oh, that's wild. I couldn't do it. I couldn't that's fucking do it. That's one of the most wild dating app stories I think I've ever heard. I spelled the name wrong. I spelled the word wrong twice in a row, so I unmatched. I just unmatched. I can't do it. I can't do it. You probably gave that poor girl a complex. She was like, what did I, I do wrong? I, I fuck. I didn't even think of that. Because all I said was what over my opener was, and she responded to the opener. And then I, basically, in her eyes, I probably just said match. I just couldn't, I couldn't have her see that shit. I was embarrassed. I don't know. I pride myself on spelling. So that was just, spelling that was tough. Champ. Spelling be champ, homie. Back to back, back I, in elementary school, but you know what it is. I just could, I don't know. It was just, it was just I was just so embarrassed. And I couldn't, and not like a funny embarrassed. I was just like, nah. Nah, we not doing this. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. I wasn't. I wasn't like, ha ha, this is, this is quirky and cool. No. Like, how do we get rid of this whole conversation? Oh, I know. Unmatch. Sorry. That was, <laughs> that was probably not the best. That was definitely not the best way to handle that. I should have been able to just open up and just be like, you know, my fault. And just go a third time. Like, like. Whatever the fuck, but I just couldn't do it at the time. This wasn't recent, so yeah. I'm about to make your night. Oh shit! That means this is some shit I ain't heard. Hold on. Mm. Let's go. I was into this girl. She was really artsy, um, Mm -hmm. cool girl. Um, She was actually pretty fun to hang out with too. Good conversation and stuff. Okay. Uh, We decided to walk, rock around the mall, and talk. It was really, really fun. We went into um, our, for some reason, I remember just going into uh, Kate's. Is it Kate's? The jewelry store? What's the jewelry store? Is it Kate's? K? K. No, 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 not jewelry. It's like the, like, girls stuff. Like, with, like, all the, like, girls backpacks, girls jewelry. Claire's? Claire's. Claire's. It was Claire's. It's like they had the mirrors on the ceilings. We took a picture in the mirror on the ceiling. Like, you know, like. That like little cute stuff, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, that was great. And yeah. at the time, my boy worked at the mall. I didn't, I didn't know he worked at the mall, but like, he he worked at the mall. So, I just had this great day. I was excited. I was leaving the mall. I go to walk out, and I see him. I was like, "Yo, what's up?" I'm talking to him. As I'm talking to him, I felt something on my arm. I was like, "What is going on?" Yeah. I touched it because I was, you know, your first instinct is like wipe it off. Yeah. A bird pooped on my arm, dog. <laughs> <laughs> was this an outdoor ball? <laughs> nah, nah. I was walking outside to my car and it caught me in the parking lot. <laughs> Yo. And as I'm talking to him, he's like, "Oh, dude, don't worry. I got wipes in the car, man. Come on, let's let's get that off." So we went to his car and he helped me like wipe it off. He's like, dude, don't worry. It happens. It's supposed to be good luck, man. Like, don't even trip. I was like, man, like, what the heck? Like, I, I, could, I had no words. I never, I, man, I, that had never happened to me before. <laughs> Did it happen in front of her? And you didn't... No, thankfully. Thankfully, like she had already left. But like it happened. It was like I was going back to my car and that's when I saw him. And like right as hey, I saw you just him. you something like, here, y'all? I felt something in my arm. I was like, yo. I was like, yo, no way. <laughs> I know you're going to say it. I'm going to say it. That bird races. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that bird. <laughs> that, that level of petty and pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> that pinpoint was like, accuracy. <laughs> it was like, oh, oh there go one right there. I'm a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, you did this shit. You yeah, did this. Shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I do love that story. I do love that. Oh man, 
Yeah, that was the worst, bro. It wasn't a lot, especially, thankfully. Especially to you, just because you are, like, Jimbo you're this folk, calm, bro. like, well, that too. But you're, like, this calm, cool dude. You don't really react much. You don't really, like, show too much emotion. You're very poised and in control. So for sure shit to happen to you. Like, oh, what the heck, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I was going in, John. Yo, I lost my mind, bro. I was like, yo. He was like, it didn't happen in front of her. That shit have been comedy. She just saw you lose your shit. (laughs) Yeah, nah. nah, I would have to play it cool. I'd be like, yo, don't worry. This happens all the time. This happens all the time. This happens all the time. time. It's good luck. You know what I'm saying? I'm just good luck. Yeah, is it good luck? I, I mean, for the bird, not for you. <laughs> bird that found a toilet. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that story. Oh, man. Whew. I don't know. Nah, but save the rest for next time. Because I have a yeah. few more. Save yeah. it for next time. Save it for next I'll time. I'll save it. I got some good ones. But, yo, that shit is comedy. I... <laughs> I I appreciate everyone. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, yeah, apparently we have to remind you to do that. I don't know how this shit works. I'm old. Like the shit. If you like the shit, like the shit. Subscribe to the shit so you know when the next one's coming out. Appreciate you. Well, he Um, said. Yeah. But, yeah, dude. Uh... Thanks again for another one. Another one. But, um, yeah, I mean, I ain't got shit to say until until next week. But, yeah, thank you to everyone for sticking around. Outro. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say to the next week. I ain't week. got shit to say. I, I didn't Catch talk to the left. You bring us out. You you end this motherfucker then. <laughs> yeah, this outro. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say till next week. This is why I don't do none of this shit. You sound like my drunk uncle at the barbecue. Hey, 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 listen, listen, hey, listen, listen to me. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, yeah, listen. You see that button with the thumb? I think that's what it looked like. Hit that shit. Hit that motherfucker. You see the bell? Hit that motherfucker too. Yeah, let's go. Boom, that's the end.